Lisa Freight Health Fact from Fiction, making sense of some of the health stories you might be seeing trending online. All right, this morning we have a few questions for Drs. Idris and Jamil Abdurrahman, known as Dr. I and Dr. J. You know that last name always gets it, It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. That's why you go with Dr. J and Dr. I. It's, it's easier to say. It's that. much easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, true or false? Quiet mediation, uh, meditation can be just as effective as strenuous exercise when it comes to burning fat and building muscle. I'm going to say true. Medi uh, meditation is just as effective as strenuous exercise. I am saying mm. true. It is true. It is it absolutely is. true. Okay. So this is the deal. Our body believes what our mind tells it. It sounds crazy, but there's this science called epigenetics, and it talks about how your environment and your mind can actually turn off and turn on genes. And so they actually did research where they had two groups of people, one group hitting the gym, one group just meditating on bigger biceps. They measured their bicep diameter at the end, and the people who meditated on it literally turned on muscle-building genes, turned off fat-building genes, and had bigger muscles. Yep. So you just sit there, close your eyes, think about your, 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 your slim belly, big muscles, and you will look but like an But it's the Adonis. intentionality. But you have to believe it. Like, and it's not, you have to believe it. You, have you to can't be just persistent. say, I'm a car, I'm a car, no, I'm a car, and no, turn no. into an automobile you can try in your garage. Vroom, vroom, but I don't think it's going to work. No, exactly. <laughs> it, it's really the intention and yeah. focusing yeah. on those contractions. Yeah. I'm not doubting you. I'm just not. You're just doubting me. Yeah. 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 Did, Did you put false? I put it false. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you go first, then, Nick, on this one. True or false? Thanksgiving, that food coma that people talk about is actually real. Eating too much turkey can make you sleepy. Nick, what do you sure. think? Sure, uh, absolutely. A full belly on of anything can make you sleepy. <laughs> I think turkey, I'm aware of tryptophan in Look turkey. At this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. See, black folks call it the itis, right? You get the itis after you eat all that turkey. But you're right. So tryptophan does make you sleepy because the body converts it to melatonin. But Turkey's not that rich in tryptophan compared to things like pork or vegetables. What it is, it's the blood sugar. So we just stuff our face, right? We eat those carbs, our, our blood sugar goes up, our insulin goes up, but then our blood sugar goes down because of all that insulin, and then you get hypoglycemia, and so that's what does it. Tryptophan, yes, but it's more all those carbs are stuffing in our face, that hyperglycemia, and our body regulates so it with sugar too much insulin. Sugar crash, that's it. I'm like, can you say crash. it in less scientific terms? Too many carbs, not enough sugar. Too many carbs. <laughs> All right, so true or false, frozen vegetables are just as healthy as fresh vegetables. Okay, I was mm. torn on this one, but I'm going to say true. Yeah, that's true. Frozen vegetables have gotten a bad rap for a long time, so I'm here to defend them today. So I this keep is the them in my They're freezer. actually healthier than fresh vegetables, and the reason is most vitamins, except for K, A, D, and E, and most nutrients are water-soluble. So when you freeze them, you hold that water in there, so they actually keep those nutrients. When they're just at room temperature, they lose the water, they evaporate, you lose the water-soluble nutrients, so less healthy. So frozen vegetables, healthier. I keep them because my vegetables that are fresh go bad so quickly. You know, sure. I'm that lady yeah. that throws yeah. away the whole yeah. bag of salad when I just uh, bought it from Whole Foods. Where do you live? I'm going to be in your garbage taking you your salad. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I'm gonna rotten. do it. Yeah. So then quickly rotten. avoid canned vegetables. Is that the idea? Uh, yeah, well, canned there vegetables are aren't as good because there's some salt there, you know. Yeah. So it's right. better for the frozen ones. Yeah. Get frozen veggies. Okay, yeah. true or false? Teeth whitening can be harmful if you do it frequently, and I say that is absolutely true. Yeah. Patrice knows nothing that about is true. Yeah, that is true. So let me tell you, I've done the teeth whitening, and what happens is your teeth get really sensitive, right? So what happens is the, the hydrogen peroxide was the active ingredient in the tooth whitener, goes through your enamel, gets to the dentin. The dentin is the only thing that protects the outside world from getting to the inside where those nerves are. So if you whiten your teeth too much, your teeth are going to get sensitive. You're going to break down that enamel, break down that dentin. You can do it, Careful. but no more than twice per year. That's twice important. Year, no more. Know. Two times a year, teeth whitening. Yeah. All, All right. right. Slow well, your roll, then, Gen Z. Keep that brush fresh. That's what you need to do. <laughs> that too. That. Absolutely. Okay, this one really has me concerned because this is something I do Perfect. regularly. Yeah, True or false? Taking daytime naps on a regular basis can cause your brain to shrink. I am going to say false because I believe, I believe, I believe. You it's believe like the, naps, the, the power meditation of naps. and <laughs> intentionality. I believe in naps. Yeah. We all do. That's <laughs> false. So actually taking naps oh, thank can prevent God. your brain from shrinking. So getting old makes your brain shrink. All of our brains shrink as we get I'm older. I'm glad I'm not getting old either. I, no, no, sorry. No, no, we're literally going backwards, you know, like Benjamin Buttons. But so when you take a nap or just when you sleep in general, your brain actually filters out toxins. And so you don't damage the neurons as much, so you prevent shrinkage. So people with big heads like us, we're intelligent because we take naps. You're uh, saying you and your twin brother have the big heads. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Just absolutely. Sure That's understand. why he's wearing a cap right now. Was. All right. True or false, a simple supplement taken before drinking can significantly reduce hangover symptoms. Hmm. I mean, I could say true. I'm sure there's something you can take. I, I just want to say it is. false. I think people want to believe that. No, this is true. This is actually true. So when you drink, right, your liver has to kind of kick into overdrive. And so what happens is it converts uh, the alcohol into something called acetyl alcohol and that is what gives you the hangover but the more you drink the more the levels of this are in your blood and it takes long for the liver to work but 
There's something called L-cysteine. 600 milligrams of this taken before drinking has been found to reduce hangover symptoms. However, we always have to stress, yeah. the best way to reduce a hangover is to drink responsibly. No more than two mixed drinks in 24 hours for women, three for men. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.